If you're a fan of the Pokemon series and are looking to decorate your walls, you might want to consider getting these Pokemon Peel and Stick Wall Decals. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unpackaging video and a bit of a review of these wall decals brought to you by Nintendo for Pokemon. Now these should be available I believe worldwide, I'm from Canada and I found them on Amazon for roughly $13 just to give you an idea of the price. These do come with 24 wall decals as it says here, and they are focused on the Kanto region of Pokemon, which is Generation 1, one of my personal favorite regions. So I was looking to get some of these to actually decorate my Nintendo room, and actually I'm moving into a new Nintendo room starting in May, and I'm going to actually not put these up until I'm in the new room, but I thought I have a lot of Mario decals, it's time I get some Pokemon ones. So these ones are pretty interesting to me. Looking at the back, you do have a bit of an overview of what you get. You get four different kind of sheets with a lot of the different Pokemon on it. And these are from 2014, as it says right there. So let's actually open these up. Uh, the bottom's a little bit ripped already, but that's okay. The decals look like they're in good shape. So I'm just going to open this up from the bottom and show you what the sheets are and kind of give you an idea for the sizing and what different decals comes with this one set. I'm just going to throw that over there. All right, so let's open this up. On the first sheet, you do have quite a few of the most iconic Pokemon from Generation 1. Let's look at this first one. You've got Bulbasaur with some leaves behind him, looking pretty cool. You do have Squirtle with some water droplets behind him, and Charmander with fire behind him. The three starter Pokemon from the series, which are truly outstanding. I love those characters. Then Jigglypuff, one of the more iconic characters from Generation 1 as well. Pikachu with electricity behind him, definitely going to go up in my room. Psyduck, one of the hilarious Pokemon to me, Misty's Pokemon, that was very popular in Generation 1 as well. Then you have the logo for the franchise, this just says Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And then you have the different evolved forms, or the second evolved forms, you have Charmeleon, Ivysaur, and Wartortle. All look really fantastic, really cool. And of course there's some other little things that you can get for the Pokemon decals, some other little ones that I probably won't put up as much. And then on this third sheet, I have the final evolved forms of Blastoids, Charizard, and Venusaur. Those look absolutely outstanding. Huge fan of these ones. You can kind of have the entire evolution leading up to this one centerpiece. I'm definitely going to put that up in my room somewhere. I love those starter Pokemon. They're really, truly outstanding. Then Mewtwo. Mewtwo's very popular from Gen 1 as well. He was in the movie Mewtwo Strikes Back. That's a really cool franchise, and I really love Mewtwo, actually. He's a cool Pokemon. I like how he has different evolved forms now, too, of the Mega Evolved forms. Little Pikachu circle piece there, as well as a Jigglypuff one there, and some Pokefruit, it looks like. And then on the very last sheet, you have Togepi, looking absolutely adorable. Another one of Misty's Pokemon. A Snorlax, who is gigantic. I'm not sure if I'll put up Snorlax. Maybe somewhere hidden in my Nintendo room. And then quite a few of the different versions of the Pokeball, including the Master Ball and the original Pokeball. Two others as well. And some Pokefruit too, which looks pretty cool. To give you an idea about the sizing, I do have a ruler. So let's just take a measurement maybe of a few of these, just so that you get an idea. In inches, they're about four inches. And in centimeters, if you are interested, yeah, they're about 10 centimeters roughly in size for the original ones that you see here. The largest one being the mural of all three of the Pokemon is actually quite a bit bigger. So that one's about nine inches by, I would say, 10 inches roughly. And if you're wondering again in centimeters, if you're from my region of the world or anywhere else, it looks like it's about 22 centimeters, which is very large. And then the width of this is about 25 centimeters. So these are pretty big decals you get for 12 to $15, depending on where you're buying them. I'm a huge fan of these. I'm not going to put up all of them. Some of the ones like these circles I think are a bit of a waste. But the major ones, especially the evolutions of Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, I'm very interested in, as I am in, I think Pikachu is going to go up as well. Maybe a few of the other ones will find a home, and the Pokeballs too. So I think that's the main reason why I got them. I wanted all the evolutions of these Pokemon, which is pretty interesting to me. I would highly recommend getting these if you're going to decorate your room. There are a few other versions. There's another one that actually has the Mega Charizard, Mega Blastoise, and Mega Venusaur, Venusaur forms if you actually check on Amazon or on eBay. I think for the same price. So these ones I would highly recommend if you're a fan of Pokemon. Please comment below. Do you think these are worthwhile? Do you think you'll decorate your room in the future with some Pokemon peel and stick wall decals? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.